So when I first arrived in Oxford about 10 years ago, I was an undergraduate at Magdalen College. Now Magdalen is a wonderful, wonderful place, but it is home to some of the most striking, intimidating architecture in the whole city. I'm originally from Crewe in the northwest of England, and as you can imagine, full of down-to-earth, downtrodden architecture and buildings. By contrast, Oxford seems to throw up buildings that are just designed to impress at practically every turn. Like that one. So I was really pleasantly surprised when I found Jericho up in the north of Oxford. I'm actually stood just across the road from Oxford University Press, which takes up a huge chunk of this part of town um, and actually provided jobs to everyone that lived around here. So most of these cottages would be lived in by people that used to work in the presses. Um, so as a result, it has a much more working class feel. Um, feels much more lived in, much more homely. Um, and that really kind of resonated with me. What's really amusing about Jericho is that um, even though it was the slum area of Oxford, say, 100 years ago, it's now become incredibly expensive as a place to live. Um, but while Jericho has become gentrified, um, it is still home to many of the, the trappings of a, a working class environment, which means it's home to some of the um, the best hostelries in town, much like this one. Uh, I've brought my parents, my grandparents here. My, uh, my father's a big advocate of their homemade puddings. Um, and I think what is so wonderful about it is that it is just a good, normal, genuine, proper pub. Um, so it's great beer, has the great pub quiz, they even have a meat drawer which uh, again kind of evokes all those kind of feelings of being back in crew. Certainly we're just a couple of minutes from Walton Street, which is the uh, tourist haven in Jericho. Um, but just down the road, you're here, um, surrounded by what is just a normal pub. And I really, really love it. I mean, after 10 years of living in Oxford, first as a student and now working, um, it's one of the places that I keep coming back to. And I just really hope that more people discover it and uh, get to enjoy it in the future.